fighter representing Azerbaijan, Asaf Aslano. So here we go, moving on to our next fighter, and again from Azerbaijan, Asaf Aslanov, the 21 year old. Stands at 1 meter 87 centimeters, tip the scales at 92 kilograms, coming in with a 200 record. And those 200 record, I don't, I don't know if they are knockouts, I've got to be given that information, but uh, basically, he is no losses, so too is his opponent. As you can see on the screen there, the 30 year old is facing him. Comes in with a 5 and 0 record, so someone 0 has got to go tonight. So here he comes. We've got a strong contingent here from Azerbaijan tonight. In total, we have one, two, three, four fighters representing. Sorry, five fighters representing Azerbaijan in total. Azam Aslano, Azerbaijan. Also moving up the weights here. His opponent, ladies and gentlemen, fighter representing England, Rion Vaughan. So representing England here in London from the KO Next Generation Gym, Rion Wong coming in with five fights, five wins. Again with no losses. And as my saying, while well, I took it off somebody else, which is a cracking saying, it's a true saying. When your four fighters have had no losses, someone's always got to go. Unless it's a draw, it's a joint win, then the O doesn't go. A win is a win if it's a draw, don't ever think different. No one came second. Joint first, it's a joint win. So the massive KO, well, let's say there is the word prodigy. KO Bloodline, KO Next Generation, KO Gym. It's been in London as long as I've been doing Thai boxing, but pretty much. Great history and pedigree. Talking about the KO gym, the man who invented it and keeps it going. An old friend of mine, fabulous guy, Bill Judd. He must be proud every time he sees the KO logo and KO gyms from around the world now. Well, obviously, mostly here in London, which is where it's based. Round one. So here we go, round one, two big guys here. In our fourth fight of the night, live on Fight Box. Fifth fight, sorry to apologize. Asaf Aslanov. In the blue corner with the black gloves, black shorts trimmed with red and white, like the MMA shorts. And in the Muay Thai shorts. In the red, in the red corner, red gloves. Rion Wong. Oh.
gets the count. He looks to his corner. Takes that quite graciously. Well, that's an early 10-8 knockdown, but it's a, a bit of a warning there as well. So, I don't know if that's... Uh, I think that was probably striking after the knockdown. Oh, jumping knee coming from Rion. Trying to put his stamp back on this fight. Catches him off balance. Two big guys in there now. Nice shin block there from Rion. Throws a nice low kick as well to Asaf's lead leg. And again, solid right kicks coming to the leg and body from Rion. Asaf coming with confidence from that uh, knockdown. Early doors. Approaching halfway through round one, these two big guys. Asaf coming from the Guba gym. Leon Wong from the KO Next Generation London gym, KO. And don't blink, because these two big guys have got some big hits. And there could be a big knockout. Got eyes wide open. People around the world watching this live on Fightbox. But we're here live right now in the fabulous York Hall, Bethnal Green, London, for this great King of Kings show. Oh, solid shots coming in now. Asaf piles on the pressure. Rion covering up well. Asaf. Purging forwards now. Loves a good left shin kick to Rion Wong's midsection. Takes a low blow, accidental. Sends him to the neutral corner. Clock stops at half a minute. Into round one. Rion there looking to his corner for a little bit of help of information. It's quite composed. Like I said, time out for that. Wasn't intentional. No points taken off. So Rion Wong there. Luke's on. Well, obviously, Asaf has Lanoff a little bit in pain. Well, get him 30 seconds off there. Enough time to recover. Obviously, a quick warning, touch of gloves. Wasn't intentional. So, about 30 seconds remain in this round. And again, they go at it. Ten second hammer's gone down. Big low kick finish from both fighters and great hand combos. End of round one. So a solid start from both fighters here in our fifth contest here live on Fightbox. And here we have some of the highlights of the first round. Big shots. I said that was the warning for the down and then a low kick on the end of that. Well, it was a solid right. Even though he had his hands up, it came through his guard. You can see it there. Good timing low kick, though, coming back from Rion. So we go into round two, scheduled for three. Second round. 
Oh, it certainly looks hot in there. Both guys sweating away. Like I said, 27, 28 degrees in London today, and I'm guessing it's a good under these lights. Added to that, you can probably add another 10 to that. So on the, um, if you look at the, uh, the country lottery stakes of what's, uh, who's on what and what's on where. Um, it's Azerbaijan won, England won at the moment. And speaking of scores, England 2-0 against Sweden, so absolutely England will be on absolute top form this afternoon and this evening and all night and for the weekend. Congratulations, but it's not about kicking a ball now, it's about these two kicking each other around the ring with good kicks, punches and knees. And that's what you're seeing here, inside of those four ropes, the square ring. Three good hooks coming back from Rion Wong. Miss with a high kick, will do the cheeky sort of side kick, back kick there from Rion. He's got a good defence too because Asaf Aslanov throws some good hooks. We saw that with the power in the first round when he came through the guard, through the glove and knocked down Rion with a temple hook punch. Approaching the final minute of round two. Knee combinations coming in from Rion. Nice old cheeky knee inside there. Rion keeps landing that. Jumps in as he throws a spinning back fist. Almost landing into that, but nullifying it at the same time. 30 seconds remaining now in round two. Oh, beautiful jump knee. Misses with a high kick. Slumps into the ring, into the rope, sorry. 20 seconds now. Rion sort of coming strong in this latter stage of round two. 10 seconds remain. Again, a big rally though. Good punches coming back from Asaf. <laughs> so another tough round for both competitors here in York Hall, Bethnal Green, London. Capital of England and the UK. See a replay of these two guys. A lot of action. of water on these guys as well as sweat referee asking him to wipe it off because it's going to be very slippy in there but i don't think there's a person in this room that's not sweaty to be honest with you i'm not a person that sweats it very rare even i'm sweating it's that warm beautiful though you're not morning we had eight months of winter 42 years without a summer summer of 76 and eight months of bad winter so in my calculations 42 years and eight months so we got us somewhere, we've got one. So I don't know why we've got it. We've been asking for it for a long time. Well, it's not just the sun that's shining on these two guys. It's a lot of lights, a lot of people's eyes. These two guys go for gold. Crowds come alive. 
Spectacular start to round three in the first 30 seconds already. A bit of warning there about the use of the clinch in the knee. For Rion, obviously, Muay Thai trained a lot for Mar. So, Rion won switching stances. Orthodox, so far, so far, Orthodox. Goes upstairs with a nice high kick there. Not enough to uh, trouble Asaf with a knockout, but uh, scoring points all the same. Both well, fighters missing with the punches, feeling the heat now, the tiredness. Heat must play a part of the stamina, it's, it's going to really take it out of them. Right body kick from Rion. A solid low kick comes back from Asa. Both fighters, like I said, feeling the pace. Asa looking possibly the more tired. See that from his hands dropping. Missing with his punches now. If Rion can just step up the pace now, this might just. If the, if the three judges are sitting on the fence and they need to watch now in the last 40 seconds just for me no warning they're spinning around but i think partly to blame is the azerbaijan fighter turning around because he's tired 30 seconds left now here we go big finish tremendous stuff here Crowd behind the fighters. 15 seconds left. 10 second hammer's gone down. Who wants it the most? Which flag will be raised at the end? Die! Well, and again, another close bout. In England, Azerbaijan. Now we saw two fights previous. When We see some of the highlights. We saw Joe Hemsworth. Lose to Azaman Karimov, which I thought should have been a draw, but that was just my personal opinion. So three judges, like I said, are going to be deliberating. Fighters have got their hands up. Who do you want? Who are you going to call? Well, it's not the Ghostbusters. <laughs> For me, I'm going to call out a draw. I'm sitting on the fence once again. Where are they going to call an extra round? Both fighters have still got the gloves on. This is interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, now I will announce the decision of each judge. Judge one, Asaf Aslanov. First judge goes to Asaf. Judge two, Rian Wong. Goes to Rian Wong. So just three a draw. Three, draw. Extra yeah. round. Extra round. Well, I said it was close. I called it a draw. I got it right. But will things change in round four? while the judges deliberated again extra minute now as well which is absolutely needed for him to go into four rounds a real tough testament of the stamina now
I'll say it again, who wants it the most? Who's zero, who's all will go tonight? It's all on this, stamina is king. I've said it since the day I started. And I'll say it till the day I die. And all the elements come together. The speed, the power, the accuracy, the time, and the distance control, the aggression, the heart, the power, the accuracy, and whatever you want to throw into this cake of fighting mix. For me, and it was the one that won me pretty much all my fights, stamina. Do not leave it outside of the ring. And do not fake it, because you will never make it inside of these four ropes. A friend of mine once said to one of my fighters, have you been running? He said, yes. He said, well, I don't think you have. I think you've told a lie. And he said, the only thing you've been running is a bath. <laughs> Quite a funny joke, really, if you'll get it, if you'll understand that one. Yeah, instead of going for a run, he was running a bath. So, yeah, my advice, guys, never leave stamina as a last resort. It should be the first, the middle, and the end. Wow, look at this. They really go for it right above me here. And the privileged ringside seat. Best seat in the house. And if you don't already know, guys, we're here in York Hall, Bethnal Green. Our fifth fight of the night. My name is Sandy Holt from Sunny Bolton by the Sea. And it's as hot as anything because it's summer. And it's beautiful. And these fights are absolutely outstanding. And you're getting to watch them live on Fight Box around the world. And live here in London at the York Hall, Bethnal Green, a fabulous fighting venue for all the stand up combat sports. Boxing, kickboxing, K1, Muay Thai. And I think even MMA they've had here. Well, it's a venue that's been going for decades. So I remember coming here over 20 years ago the first time. Well, into the final minute now. A tough call for the judges. The cheers coming in. <laughs> Twenty seconds remain. <laughs> Ten seconds left. Like I said, we've had two fights already. That's one all. Oh, solid shots. What a fight this is. Wow. Incredible stuff here. Woo. Now then. Read the body language. One slumps over the ropes. One is raised. But that doesn't mean, I know it counts for what the judges see. But this is what we have seen. Well, to my left, the Azerbaijan flags are being waved all over the place. Big, obviously, community down here. Your promoter, Hafiz, with obviously the KOK president, the inventor, the ambassador, Mr. Donatos Simonaitis, sat just two seats to my right. And Hafiz sat to my, one seat to my right. So they're going to call it. Wow. So 
they come the promoters like to to and Hafiz. Here we go, judges decision. Judge one. Judge one. Asaf Aslano. <laughs> Judge two. Rian Vong. <laughs> Judge three. Draw. Final decision. Draw. So nobody's all. Did go because it's a joint win, and that is a fair decision. Well done, guys, and I like that. That is a good call. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Don't forget the KOK World Series keeps rolling, guys. 11th of August in Turkey. 21st of September in Kaunas, Lithuania. And then the 29th of September in Slovakia. And then the 13th of October in Tallinn, Estonia. Goals, ladies and gentlemen, the next four fights coming up. In KLK series, this is number 58. There's the highlights of round one. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to say a big thanks for Ambassador for support, and we would like to uh, ask you to say a few words. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually not really known too much for my talking. And whenever real men sweep their fists, I think words have no place. That was absolutely unique. And uh, congratulations to the English national team to make it semi-finals at the Worlds. Thank you very much. I think that was a great event today. I appreciate it very much. Thanks for having us. Thank you. 